Hey guys, we have here the JBL Endurance Peak 3 and in this video we want to explain to you how to pair these earbuds to your Android smartphone. So in case you want to pair these earbuds to an iPhone, an Apple iPhone, then I suggest you check out my other video here in the upper right corner. But now let's get started with the uh, earbuds here and our Android phone. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to remove both earbuds out of the charging case. And then we're going to turn them on by moving the twist lock from their locked position. So that will turn them on. In this case, I will just bend the uh, twist lock here over that earbud so that it stays up there. Uh, just so I can show you this in the camera easier. And then we're going to take a look at this rapidly blinking blue LED here. So that indicates that the Bluetooth pairing mode is enabled. And in case this is not happening for you, then you have to manually enable the Bluetooth pairing mode. And that is actually really easy to do. You're just going to take one of the earbuds and then you know that there is this touch sensor on the side of the earbud. And we're going to press this uh, two times really quickly. And the second time we're going to press and hold for at least five seconds. So let me show you this. So you see here really quickly twice. And then the second time we keep holding it for at least five seconds or until this LED starts blinking here in blue. So this indicates now the Bluetooth pairing mode is enabled and we can continue to pair our earbuds to our Android phone. Now, in case your smartphone supports the Google Fast Pair feature, then there's really not a whole lot you have to do. You can see already the phone has recognized that there is the uh, JBL Endurance Peak 3 in the vicinity and they're in the pairing mode. So really all we have to do now is press the connect button and that's pretty much it. Now the phone is going to continue to ask you to follow this wizard, the setup wizard, but we can also just simply skip it. So just to give you an idea of what this wizard is going to ask you, we're going to see here it's going to download some information and then it's going to try to uh, connect you with the Google Assist. I'm going to just skip through this. So there's all kinds of different features that uh, the Google Fast Pair is trying to offer you here. So I'm just going to cancel that. And now in case your phone does not show this fast pairing pop-up, then I'm going to show you the traditional way. And that is by just sliding up from the screen all the way down. And then here you're going to find this cogwheel icons for the settings. And in there, we're going to find here connections. And under the connections, we find here the Bluetooth menu. So let's click on that. And here we're going to press, we're going to turn on Bluetooth. So we make sure it's turned on. And now the phone is going to search for devices nearby. And one of them is eventually going to be here, our JBL uh, Endurance Peak 3. So as soon as that pops up, we can select this here from the list. And then there is another pop-up here on the bottom of the screen that we are really sure that we really want to pair these earbuds. So we're going to confirm this. And now our earbuds are already paired and uh, we can see what we can use the earbuds for. We can use them for phone calls as well as for just listening to your music. And we can also see how much battery percentage is left on the earbuds. So you can see here right now the batteries of the earbuds are still fully charged. So they are at 100%. Okay, and, uh, once we're done using the earbuds, we're just going to close the twist lock here to turn them off. And then we can uh, place them back into the charging case and they're going to recharge the batteries. If you're wondering, the uh, earbuds are going to automatically repair to our phone next time you want to use them. So we don't have to go through this pairing process every time we're trying to use them. You see, as soon as I turn them back on, so I turn the earbuds back on, seconds later, the, they are going to be paired with our smartphone as long as Bluetooth is enabled still on our smartphone, of course. Yeah, and then if we want to recharge the battery, so it's going to place them back into the charging case. And in case you're wondering, when the batteries are fully charged, the charging process is going to stop and we can keep storing the earbuds inside of the case. It's not going to damage the batteries of our earbuds, so we can uh, keep them safe in here. Okay, so that was already it for the video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.